Here I wanted to show you how I add a background to my watercolor painting. The first layer is just water. It does have a little bit of pigment in it so you can see it, but it's just basically a layer of water that I'm adding. And normally I would add the background to my paintings first or maybe at the same time that I'm painting my subject, but here I'm adding it after the fact. So I have to be real careful to not touch the painting that's already there. Because, for example, if I touch this blue indigo of his feathers, that blue, even though it's dry, will reactivate and it will bleed. So I'm being real careful around the edges not to touch the painting. Then I'm going to add some color, some yellow here and there, and some blue here and there. And I make sure that the paint goes all the way up to the subject. And those colors will bleed into each other and blend. And the colors are just pretty random. I'm just putting them here and there to make it look like the background is out of focus, maybe trees or leaves in the background, and then the subject matter will be in focus and it will stand out more. With the very tip of my brush, I go in to get into the little detailed areas. So here I'm just gonna splatter some paint into it give it some texture. And with this brush that has a straight edge, I'm going to go in and clean up some of the edges because there's a little bit of white paper in between the background and the bird. And so with this brush, I can go in and I can move the paint around more delicately and connect the two so that there's no white gap in between. And I can splatter into it again, and it's still wet, so you can see that that splatter kind of disappears into the background. So while I'm waiting for it to dry, I just go back in with my straight bristled brush to clean up any areas that I missed. And I can splatter a little bit more, and now you can see the paper is drying more because that splatter doesn't disappear as much. It's more defined. cleaning up a few more pieces that I missed. And one more splatter before I call it quits. So here's my finished toucan with his watercolor background added.